<sighs> All right. <sighs> okay. Got everything I'm wanting to do ready. Uh -huh. It's got a little bit more setting up to do. done cool all right so welcome everybody uh, this uh, I believe this is the first stream I'm gonna be doing uh, after the update which was yesterday so uh, I have settled on a definitive uh, streaming schedule uh, hopefully this will work out because as I stated in the update yesterday uh, my day jobs work times are varying but from now till next week I will be working from 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. which means I can have 10 to 12 on sun on Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays to do to continue playing uh the play or my game that I have my uh, current playthrough on. And then on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays is when oh my there you go. And on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays is when I'll have more viewer stuff where you guys can play with me or I'll be doing something other than my uh, main playthrough. So, for right now, let's just go ahead and get to this. As you can see in the... all the way over there, uh, I added a new little thing. It's very basic and rudimentary, but it's the best I could do, okay? Uh, so, now that's looking really nice. Uh, I will I will have this as my main thing when doing uh, these playthroughs like this. That way the entire screen can be seen alongside the chat, uh, the text box. Uh, without the text box and my camera getting in the way. Uh, if there's anything important that I want you guys to watch, maybe like a certain cutscene, then I'll swap over to full screen mode. That way you guys can get the first hand experience as if you were playing it yourself. So, that's how I plan on doing this now. All right, so from where we last left off, Eric found uh, Eric found his old thieving buddy, uh, Dirk, 
uh, in the fancy spot of town, after Dirk had sold the uh, treasure, or a after Dirk sold the royal family's treasure heirloom back to the family, and then took that money and opened a shop in order to get money to get Eric out. Uh, then Dirk kept a good ear out for the, uh, for the family treasure and it was, uh, put back in its rightful place in the, uh, temple, uh, to the Southeast near Hero's hometown cobblestone. So that is what we are going to be doing today is making our way there. However, First and foremost, we're going to need to grind, and we're going to need to grind hard. Nice. Seamless transition. Alright, so first things first. Uh, just so I don't have to watch that cutscene again. Uh, I'm going to come in here and save. Because... Oh, okay, cool. The sweet old lady is going to lie to me. Fuck me, I guess. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's say 948 useless currency. Let's go. Alright, cool. Thank you. Alright. So now, are these things safe to fight? Do I get XP off of you? Oh, this is dangerous. Well, this is very dangerous. <sighs> Alright. This is gonna be fun. Uh, okay. Oh, cool. I one shot him. That's not a lot of damage. I'm probably not gonna get XP for this. Because they are not as strong as I thought they were. Yeah, I'm not getting XP from this. If I do, then that's surprising. But I highly doubt it. That was way too easy. Yep. Cool. I just lost HP for no reason. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. Alright, I've got two heals left before I need to go sleep. Uh, I don't think I can fight the, uh, the archers. The bobkin, that's what they're fucking, I kept calling the coblins because of fucking Zelda. Can I fight? Do I get? Alright. These guys are more dangerous because they can put me to sleep. That's a lot of damage. I'm not gonna... I'm not going to take the risk. I'm going to heal. Okay, cool. Nice. Alright, got the more important one out of the way. But the real question is, do I get XP for this? Jesus. Eric! Hero! Oh my god! You fucking dunces. Oh, cool. Oh, cool.
It's either I take one out and risk one of my characters dying, or I heal and take two more hits of damage. Here's more important. Oh, fuck me, dude. If I get no experience for this fight, I'm pissing myself. Cool. I might as well wing it. I'm probably not gonna- I'm probably gonna die. You bitch! He got to go twice? Make that- Oh cool! Ow. Die. Do I get experience for that? Okay, cool. Eric doesn't because he's dead. Sorry, I don't understand. Shut up, Google. I didn't ask for your opinion. Ooh. Wonder if y'all can hear that sizzle. That's my dinner. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Oh, cool! Gold, gold does have a use for me. It's how I bring people back to life. That's crazy. I didn't think I had a use for this at all. So, what's the difference now? Okay, cool. That 50-something XP would have been really nice for Eric. For once, I wish they targeted a hero. That's cool. Well, the faster hero levels up, that's what's important. But then again, I am still going to have to make sure that everyone stays at the top of their game because every single character will be useful in some way, shape, or form. I just want to get Silvando. Silvando. I gotta say it with passion. I just need to get Silvando. That way I don't have to fucking deal with Hero dying and then having to restart wherever the fuck I have to restart at. Okay, so. Yo! Oh, bitch. Oh, wait, I should have. I should have ran into him. Damn it. Well, he's dead anyway. It's fine. Dead. Oh. Shut up, Eric. Okay. What? But I didn't preempt to strike him. His game. It's fine. He's dead. What do you mean he's not dead? You're fucking me. What do you mean he is not dead? You know what? Fuck it. I, I don't have to do this, but I'm doing it anyway. Die. <laughs> I didn't have to overkill him, but I wanted to. It was funny. Okay, cool. So let him sleep. Take care of the little bitch who can cause me damage. Eat ass. Yeah, that's right. Stay asleep. Stay snoozing. No, don't wake up. No, Eric. Okay, never mind. It's fine. <laughs> I thought we were about to be trapped here again. All right, I can still get XP off of these guys, which is really nice. I appreciate it. I really do. Yo, eat it, bitch. Oh, wait, hold up. Bam. Uh, see, I really... Ow. I really want to get a Venom Strike instead of Sleep Strike.
because there's sleeper hit and cobra strike. Sorry. I can get sleeper hit or I can wait to get cobra strike. But cobra strike or I can't get cobra strike without getting this first. Which means I have to wait later or I have to wait longer in order to get it. And I need these characters to be useful ASAP. And Sleeper Hit is pretty decent. But the reason I want Cobra Strike is for obvious reasons. It does it, it does poison, which does damage over time. And the more damage output I get, the better. Because Okay, yeah, no, I'm not fighting this. Give me the fuck away from here. Motherfucker! I said flee! Damn it, game! And they're targeting hero. That's game. Nifty. That's cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, I know another thing I can do. I need a death counter. I need a game over. Yeah, I need a game over counter. Uh, I don't know where I can fit that on screen, however. Fuck it. Let me, f let me, I'm going to add a death counter. Give me a moment, guys. Oh, cool. I just realized all that experience I just got from fighting those fucking stump trumps are, uh, stump chumps are gone. <sighs> Thanks, game. Appreciate it. Genuinely, I really do. How I love you so. Alright. Uh, first, let's move this. Uh, transform. Edit transform. I'm just gonna move this down. Oh, whoops. 70. I'm just gonna move this down. Or, well, technically up. Okay, cool. Then I'm gonna relock that. Then all right, put it in Comic Sans just to piss people off. I'm gonna make it bold and I'm gonna make it bold and italics. Just to again fuck with people because it's funny. Death. Oh wow, I need that to be a bit bigger. There we go. Death. Oh. Let me just put deaths. And then, as for how many deaths I've had, I am unsure at this present moment. I will correct it. I will correct it. I will go through uh, my previous streams and correct it. Actually, no, I'm going to make it red. I'm going to make it blood red because crimson. Next, oh, let me move you down underneath there. Then let me edit transform. Actually, let me even this up. There. Cool. Okay. So, as of right now, I have no clue how many deaths I've had. <laughs> uh, but I will go through and correct it. 
once I figure out, uh, yeah, 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 the King's Borough, that's what the little temple is called. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I appreciate your hospitality. Now to go die to some bullshit again because the game says so. I'll fight this dude first. A saber cub? You're fucking right. I have to take care of the saber cub. I got a fucking crit! Eat my fucking ass. Oh my god. Okay. This is gonna be decent XP. It's not gonna be a lot, but it'll be decent. <sighs> okay, he's got buff, so this is gonna take a minute. Attack Eric! Help him get his help him get his pep uh pep up. Come on. You bitch! That works too! Yeah, medicinal herb this bitch! That's right, you can't. Eat it. Ooh, I love that noise. Thank you, Eric. Okay, cool. Now let's move on. Stick away from these assholes because they just like to dick me. Bop. It's a mash A fest. Bop. That, that, that's all this is. Bitch got one hit in too. Cool. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm not even gonna let you finish your scuff. This is all this is. It makes me sad, dude. I love how it just takes a second. Bitch! He had to get his one hit in. I hate these fuckers. Pink pine, cool. I would have preferred a medicinal herb, but that works too. It's antidotal herb. Uh, two strong medicines. I don't need those yet. Eric has three, so I'm going to give him two more. And then I'll give the last one to Hero. Oh, I have a Seed of Agility. I should use this. I should probably transfer this to here. I should probably get both of these to hero. Just as a just as a last resort. <laughs> okay, that works. Oh, there's one more little sleeping bastard right here. Cool. There we go. Now, there is one little... There is a slight way of cheesing the... Um, there is a slight way of cheesing the um, XP mechanic. Where... With how... Uh,
With how the XP works, how it stops you from earning XP if the enemies are too weak, that only applies if every enemy that you fight is weaker than your current level. If you fight multiple enemies that are weaker, but there's one enemy that's on or higher level, then you get the experience from every enemy in the battle. Which is what you have to do in order to max out at level 99 in order to have a chance at beating the game. And yes, you do have to be max level in order to fight the final boss of the first uh, of the first half of this game. Which, after you beat the first half, that's when the game is effectively over. You don't have to uh, do any more than that. Which, thank god, that's all I have to do. Just remember to get the beast bone. I don't, I don't even want to attempt to fight any of the uh, saber cats. I would want to try it, but I ain't going to. Because I know damn well I'm going to fucking die. Uh, I'm pretty sure there aren't any more items over here for me to grab. Uh, I still need to farm, so I'm going to work my way back and see if those uh, stump chumps have respawned. Because those seem to be my best reliable source of XP right now. Uh, I should honestly go and save. That's what I should do. And if I choose not to, I'm going to regret it, more than likely. The stump chump respawned, so that's nice. What am I at? Here is 5 XP away from leveling up. Okay, I'll fight at least one of these bastards. I said one! Ha <laughs> ha! Get parried, you stupid bitch. Now, let's try this again. I said one. Thank you. Let's go. Uh, Eric, shut the fuck up. He's asleep. You shouting, let's go, is probably going to fuck up our chances of winning. Here we go again. It's a mash fest. Until they stop doing 12 and 11 damage... Or until they stop doing damage entirely. Bro! Y'all can kill this bastard if you do... Yes! No. Mm. Thank you! Another one bites the dust. There we go. Okay. And I learned Sizz. I finally got a decent group hitting move. So now I can effectively fight those little bastard, uh, those little uh, bobkin archers. Although it's probably useless at this point. Uh, I have nothing. Cool. This would also be a fantastic move to know too. Oh yes, yeah, swordsman mastery. Let's go. See, again, this is this is where I'm having issues. Do I save up to get uh Cobra Strike? Or do I get Sleeper Hit? I mean, I mean, I should go ahead and just get this. Uh, more crit chances. Decent. Alright, so... Now, I don't believe... Hero will get any more XP from fighting the uh, stump chumps or the uh, Bacoblin. Uh, fuck! Bobkin archers. 
If he could, that'd be nice, but I highly doubt it. Although increased at uh, increased attack power and defense is always a plus. We appreciate those. We take those. Alright. Now, why this saves, uh, I had a timer uh, set so I can play an ad. So now it is time for an ad break. All right, we back, we back. I think we back. Yes, we are indeed back. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right. Thanks, Granny, appreciate it. Now, back to the grind. Again. Now I'm not afraid of these little dickheads because I can effectively do damage to all of them. Like this. Well, first Eric goes, I guess. Ow. I ain't even gonna let your friend get a chance. What? What do you mean they're too weak? Damn! They're not even fucking worth it. Okay, now I'll take on two of you bastards. That works too. Look at that damage. Yeah, that's right. Use a medicinal herb, bitch. Okay, thanks, Yara. That works too. Woohoo! That damage. Who else wants some? Weaker party members gain 17, but stronger party members. I like how I like how they have to go into discrete detail. Weaker party members were are not allowed to. Or weaker party members earn 17 experience points, but everyone else, you know, they're way too strong, so they they don't get anything. See, Platypunks, fucking, they were, they were, uh, in front of the castle of Heliodor, so there's no way I get XP off of them anyway. Alright, so, now, the real question is, can I fight these little bastards? That's the real question. And, of course, there's a, a Yes, play around, don't attack me, please. Okay, this is a good start. Wonderful. Do I even risk it? Should I heal? <sighs> I'm gonna take a chance. I'm probably gonna die for it.
Yeah, sorry, you better call for backup, bitch. Because you're dead. You know what? No, he ain't even worth the pet power. I know exactly who I'm using this pet power on. What? Even the Saber Cubs don't give me XP? Oh, that's terrible. Okay, but I know exactly what I'm using. I know exactly what I'm using this on. Oh, he woke up? Cool. That's a lot of damage. But you're dead. Well, at least I think. I'm not too sure. I hope it dies. Okay, cool. Whew. Cool. I got 25 experience points from that. Thanks. Yes. That, that put a large vent in my uh, 200 or 407 uh, XP needed to level up. Thanks. And then Eric just got half his fucking health chomped out of him. Which is fucking, which is hilarious. Alright, well, I killed a saber, uh, I killed a saber cat. I got it in my monster, I got it in my little monsterpedia. Uh, I don't know if, I think I've killed a platypunk. If not, I'll come back later. There's, there's no reason for me to hang around this area anymore. Uh, I can't get XP. Unless I kill saber cats, so I just have to move on. I could wait and grind out Eric's level 8 and then move on. Uh, because that would probably be the smarter thing to do. In all technicality, that would be the much smarter thing to do. But uh, I'm not smart, so... Well, actually, you know, scratch that. I have three brain cells because I was about to leave without sleeping, even though Heroes MP was nothing. So I'm glad I made the right call. Okay, now I need to save. Thank you, Granny. Time to, like, literally never see you again. Oh, wow, cool. Give me the ability to jump, but I can't jump off of ledges. Thanks, game. Alright, now we're going this way. There's more Saber Cubs over here. Along with Stumps. Ooh, I got a sleeping hibiscus. I like it. Fire Emblem Warriors. Oh my god, I need to play Fire Emblem Warriors. I do. I really do. The Mango Grove. Alright, this is my effective, or effectively next level up when it comes to monsters. So, uh, there are items around that I need to find somewhere. I just gotta remember where. Uh, I wanna avoid those assholes uh, because I am not yet ready to fight them. Aha, give me that. Stay away from me. No. Bad touch, bad touch. Yeah, that's right, fuck off, go on somewhere. Uh, hello, thank you. Uh, bad touch, bad touch. I know there are items around here, I just can't remember. Alright, lips. It boggles me how these enemies are stronger when in like Dragon Quest VIII, they were literally on par. 
Looks like clear skies throughout here all, uh, here all through tomorrow, but the day after could be one way or the other. What a peculiar cow. It seems our bovine friends know a thing or two about what to expect weather-wise. Maybe if you quit walking into the bastard, he'd probably tell us more. All right, we're going to come up here. Oh, the chest is empty. Cool. Ooh! Now, do I get the fun size forge before or after I rescue this guy? Because if I get it before, then I can actually work on something. For once. And actually be better. Oh my god, I forget that those fuckers just walk down there. Those are, like, beyond my, like, I mean beyond my level. I would get fucked up in a split second. Look at that. A campsite. And just when we needed one. Still a fair way to cobblestone. Let's rest up for the night. Funnily enough. All right, so this this is what's going to be the absolute godsend of this run. So, look, my damage output is 42. When I make this Divine Dagger, Eric goes up to 41. That literally, make, that literally lets him do the same damage as me, which is fantastic. So, I'm just going to go ahead and make both, just for the completion. So, and I want to try and get perfect so I don't have to make them again. This isn't going to be perfect, but you know what? I could always do it. I could always make another one later. I don't I don't want to. Plus 1. Yeah. Two perfectionist pearls. All right. Now I want to do my best to make this a plus 3.
please tell me this is a plus three. It's probably not, but I want it to be. Ah, damn it. Nice. All right. And that's that. That's a Divine Dagger plus three. I just love how happy he gets about it. He's like, yes, I did it. <laughs> Oh, I have one Perfectionist Pearl. That's cool. Alright. Uh, I'll, I'll try to forge another one of these. Oh, okay. This ain't gonna be no plus three or nothing, but it's enough to get perfectionist pearls. And that's what I needed it for. Actually, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for the moment. First, let me get the Divine Dagger. Ups his, oh my god, yes. By three, dude. Okay. So first, before I get anywhere near that dog, I'm gonna check this house. Yes. Oh, yes. Armor. Shit, I can't equip. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mm. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to skip that. But Eric just said, damn, what dumbass smashed the bridge? And we're about to find out. Cool. Okay. Well. Cool thing about this is that now I can use use the fun size forge for my uh for my inventory. I don't have to. Get, then we go to this random ass stone bricked area. It's it's kind of funny to be completely honest. How I would love to equip this fucking shield and stuff, but, you know, fuck me. Oh, wow. Ooh. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> I was about to say, if it said perfection, plus two? You're joking. Ugh. Aww. Bro, that steak in the ramen was so fucking good. Like, it's crazy how good that was. 
I got two perfects and one mess up. That's going to be a plus two for sure. Yeah. Unfortunate. Nothing I can do about it. I didn't have the heart of the cards. <laughs> Alright, well, since this is Hero's only decent fucking weapon that he has on him, I'm just going to go ahead and rework the Cobblestone Greatsword. Nice. Okay, that's come on. There's no way that's there's no way that's not perfect. Oh my. Catch it please. This looks fantastic, actually. Oh let's go. Yeah. Reworked it into a plus three. That's exactly what I like to see. I didn't mean to make that rhyme. I'm spitting bars out here. <laughs> I am. Alright, that's exactly what I like to see. Now, now, heroes, and now Hero and Eric's damage output has been increased by a fuck ton. Hero's attack went, to, went from 40, 41 to 55, and Eric's went from 31 to 47. This is exactly what I needed. So, as you can tell, forging for items and using the fun size forge is an absolute must in this run. So, now that that's been taken care of, I've slept. Now, I don't believe I've had like a genuine boss fight up until now. So, one will be coming up very shortly. However, I am nowhere near ready to do it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and get it ready. Big boar. Big boarfer. Boarfer was sniffer. He wants me to come this way. And over here is a little root. And we're going to touch this root because we're weirdos like that.
So, as you can tell from that, uh, basically, what we have to do is go fight that stupid ass little limp. And it doesn't make things better when I can't do that yet because I have to spend the next little bit farming. However, uh, my farming sessions are going to be much better now because now I have the fun size forge. And this will make all of my farming from now on so much easier. Because I can just make better weapons. <laughs> so now, I just want to give it a shot. These fuckers can probably one-shot me, but I want to see just how much damage I can get on them. Oh, well, okay, cool. Oh, uh, okay, cool. Okay, cool, that's a lot of damage. That's big damage. That's exactly what I like to see. <laughs> Ooh, baby! Look at that! 18 damage. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, I can get decent damage in now. I'm not still not going to fight those fuckers because they can absolutely ruin my run. Even though I'm not speedrunning. I would never speedrun a fucking Dragon Quest game. Props to people who do, but I do not have that kind of time. I'm sorry. I would get tired very quickly. Now, not that's not to say that I won't speedrun. I might speedrun something eventually. Just, I ain't speedrunning fucking Dragon Quest or Final Fantasy yet. Yeah, no, you got me fucked up. Those games are literally fucking days long, okay? Like, sure, Dragon Quest VIII, I believe, can be beat in, like, under 10 or so hours. But that's the 3DS version. Because you can speed up battles. PlayStation 2 version? Yeah, no. You ain't beating that shit. Ooh. Did I jump down here? Or was I just able... Okay, that's odd. Okay, so I found another mini metal. That's lit, I guess. Y'all ain't doing shit. Shut up. Eeyo... All right. Uh, he noticed something on his. Uh, he noticed one of his clothing items were inside out. You fucking me? How do you put on your clothes inside out? You never take them off. That is a genuine question. I guess I'll fight one of these fuckers. Let's go. Okay. Nice. These guys gave off way more XP than the lips. I guess I'll just fuck. Oh, 
Oh, whoops. Okay, one moment, guys. Got another ad break for you. I should focus these guys. <laughs> Yo, my boy Eric, dude, he's fucking hitting it. <laughs> Bro. I love Eric. <laughs> I love their comments. What am I doing, dude? Why Why am I dancing? <laughs> oh, fuck. I love it when they get lost in the sauce. <laughs> Wow, okay, he spawned on me. Yeah, that's right. We lost our we lost our dancing fever last last uh last battle, okay? We ain't da we ain't doing your bullshit anymore. I see that item glowing. Hold on. Give me that shit. Yo. Uh. Get fucked. Hello, hero. You gonna slice him or what? Oh, yo, Eric getting down, dude. <laughs> he's getting down again, bro. Bro, he's hitting it. <laughs> uh, I love the sultry dance. It's just so dumb. Uh, hello, hero? Damn, not a single enemy over here? Come on, now. Okay. Bow. What do you mean they didn't one shot? Bow. Oh, he's busting a move again. Whoa! <laughs> Man had a fucking rave and I just said, bitch. <laughs> Now, one thing I am going to grind for, daft dance? Damn, I've never seen that one before. Probably because I'd kill him fast enough. But, 
daft dance and they started fucking laughing? That shit's funny. Yeet. Yeet. Whoa! Hold up! Yo! Ho, 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 ho. Okay, reality check. I need to go save. Okay, I got hit with a reality check. It's time to save. How is Hero closer to leveling up again when Eric is a level... Wait. Okay, no, never mind. Eric leveled up. I'm dumb. My bad. My bad. Hello, doggo. First, we are sleeping. And then we are saving. Cool, 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 All right, now back to the tried and true method. These fuck boys. Yo! They know how to get their groove on. Damn! Yo, shit, weak! Your sauce weak, fam. You gotta pop that shit harder. I hate myself. <laughs> Why? Why do you do that much damage? Why do you get to go every other turn? Yeah, wait your turn, bitch. Fuck. Fast, fast ass motherfucker. Cool. Yo. This is a good experience. Baby, I love this damage. It worked. Who else wants some? Heh. Fucking Eric, shut up. Can I stop getting lips? I want to fight the... Oh, I saw it. Wait, no, I didn't. I was, I was bamboozled. Come on, now. Where are these dancing imps at? Fuck. There's one. What the fuck? What are you doing here? Fuck out of here. You're not supposed to be here. Damn, your shit ain't funny, dog. <laughs> you got the whole squad not laughing. <laughs> Sometimes it pays to be me. Cool. Boxer shorts. Equipment I can't use. Thanks, game. I appreciate it. Okay, these little fucks are way more important. Even though for some reason I can't get experience off of them, they are way more dangerous. Is the shit funny? Is that shit funny, Eric? Exactly, bitch. Feel embarrassed. That shit won't funny. He told a crusty ass meme. Fucking 20. He told a fucking 2015 meme, dude. That shit way outdated. Yo. Oh. 
<sighs> Get fucked. I will not take any chances. <laughs> yeah. He got pissed. Not close. Okay, one fight with one fight with an imp and something else. An imp plus something else, and that's my level. Perfect. Bow. I just one shot this bitch ass. I would have liked to heal, would have healed Eric, but it's fine. There we go. 58, 50 HP, 27 MP, 27 strength. 33 agility. My resilience didn't go up. That's cool. Thanks, game. Charm went up. Thanks. The deafness went up. Fantastic. And I learned evac. Sure, I can customize these points. I need 10? Well, all right then. Okay, now how much away am I? Seven hundred and forty six. The question is, is, can I even get another level from this area? I, my guess is no. Another one bites the dust. Yep. Cool. So, max of this level is going to be fucking... Uh, nine. You know what? I'm gonna make an attempt. Hmm. Oh, I leveled up. Oh, cool. Thank you. That's it. All right. An attempt is going to be made. I will attempt to fight the quote-unquote first boss of this game. It may or may not go over well. Uh, because I still have some time with the pet power. Because what I need to do is get like one good hit in because I do more damage when I'm pepped up. So I need to get like one or two good hits in. And then I need to use the pet power. So right now is a very prime opportunity with the pet power. However, Eric is a level under.
All right, so th this is our. Ooh! Oh, that's big damage. Get another hit in. Okay, hero's pet power is fading. So let's go ahead and pop it off. I got a crit off the back and some good damage from the pet power. What? Why are you targeting Hero? You're a little bitch, you know that? You cunt! Oh, he's close to death. Yeah, come on. Keep this damage going. Please die. I'm not gonna take the chance, but fuck, come on. Oh, you little bastard. Yes! Let's go! Nice. And Eric leveled up. Let's fucking go, dude. Oh, I'm so happy. Fuck. And Eric's resilience didn't go up either. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. Alright, well, I need him to be useful ASAP, so sleeper hit. Ooh, excuse me. Alright. About this vision of me being turned into a dog you saw when you touched that glowing plant. The more I think about it, the more certain I am. What you experienced can only have been the guidance of Yggdrasil. Uh, does that mean anything to you? It's something my dear old granddad told me about when I was a boy. Yggdrasil is the giant floating tree at the center of our world, of course. The source of all life, as some call it. If the legends are to be believed, each one of its leaves represents a life, and its power preserves the peace and harmony of our realm. The glowing plant you found in the forest is actually a part of Yggdrasil. A piece of root poking through from beneath. It's said that the World Tree can choose to communicate via her roots, but only with certain very special people. And that's what my granddad meant by the guidance of Yggdrasil. He was talking about just such visions as you saw. 
It's all coming back to me now. As a boy, I'd spend hours talking to the silly old thing. But did anything ever happen? Not a bit of it. But you, young man, you're different. You're one of the special ones, chosen by the World Tree. And you've got great hair, too. Life just isn't fair. <laughs> so not only are you the luminary, you're also Yggdrasil's favorite little leaf, huh? Some guys have all the luck, I guess. Well, we can't stand around talking about how great you are forever. Come on. So I am... a mega disappointed because my dumbass just realized that my Elgato sound was off this entire time. So... Yeah, I'm... I'm a bit peeved at the moment. Why do you ask? Oh my god, yes! They're called ham witches. Ham witches. Ham witches. I love these bastards. Oh, sham ham witches. They're shams. Chill out! <laughs> Yeet! Fuck me, swerve! Die. He fucking smoothed on him. Oh, cool. They were too weak anyway. Thanks, game. <laughs> Appreciate it. This game sucks. This game is one great A shit best. Motherfucker charging me from halfway downtown. Like, fuck off. Go do something else. Leave me alone. Oh. That's hot, I guess. <sighs> I'm sad. I had the shit off this entire time and I didn't even notice. That's a good sneeze. Real strong, powerful one. What the fuck? I'm not the only one who saw that, right? There was like a really big explanation mark behind the tree. Do I have to? <laughs> Shut up, leave me alone. You guys are weak. The, the game says you are under me. So, back the fuck off. The game itself has stated that you are beneath me. Ergo, you are not worth my time. Motherfucker knows how to climb, dude. I Even I don't know how to climb. Oh, hello. Even I don't know how to fucking climb like that. And I like parkour. Well, fucking... And he does not have any fucking muscle. So for him to fucking climb like that, that's pure technique. Finally, I can get out of the mangle grove and start fucking roaming the fucking area of the castle now.
Yeah. There we go. And now we're back here again. Now, I could go straight and continue on to the... Uh, the path to the Kingsboro. But first, we need to take a pit stop and take a look at uh, Cobblestone. Everything seems to be normal. That was a funny line of dialogue. It's crazy. It's like no one recognizes me or something. I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna get, 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 get. Give it to me. Bastard. Yeah, got it. Coolio. Let's go home and see mom. Is that you, dear? I'm cooking your favorite stew. It'll be ready any minute now. You'll be desperate to stuff your face as always, I'm sure. Well, set the table, and I'll just give it a last little stir. Whoa! Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? What nonsense are you talking? My boy is six years old. Who do you think you are? Waltzing in here and claiming to be someone you're not. Whoever you are, I want you out of my house this instant. Don't make me say it twice. All right, well, fight. Oh, whoops. All right, well, fuck. <laughs> so, apparently, we're not hero, and we're six years old. Cool. All right. I like how they're all just, we heard Amber scream. Holy shit. We hope she's okay. And then they just see me walking out of the house and do nothing to stop me. Because I look like the most prime suspect to be to have been the reason of the sh uh, of the shriek in the first place. Well, anyway, uh it is time for another break. Hmm. 
Nifty. Ooh. I just kicked your fucking butt, good old lady. No! Oh! Stream's back! Okay, cool. We're following little Gemma. If you haven't, if you if you couldn't tell, we're in the past now. Well, kinda. All right, all right. Uh, I'm fucking. I love his little stride. Also, that's little Sandy when she was a puppy. She's adorable. Hey, Grandad. Can I borrow your ladder? The wind blew Gemma's scarf off and now it's stuck up a tree. Just a little side note, this is some bullshittery because oh, Tiny Hero's well, talking well, and that, Big Hero no, doesn't. Bullshit. Go and find it for you. Hmm? We don't need the ladder anymore. That nice man over there got my headscarf down for me. He said he was looking for you. Is he a friend of yours? Nope. I've never even seen him before. Well, I think it might be me he's looking for, you know? Why don't you two run along and play and leave us grown-ups to talk? All right. <laughs> well, well, well. It's you, isn't it? <laughs> I knew it. I'd known you since you were a baby, after all. I knew it was you right away. But you don't look too happy, my lad. Care to tell you, old Grandad, what's on your mind? I see. So, you're from a future where I'm no longer around. Well, well. And King Carnelian went and threw you in the dungeon. And to think I trusted that he'd do right by you. If I'd known how things were going to turn out, I would have told you everything, instead of hiding the truth from you for all those years. But you don't have time to be listening to an old man's regrets. Here's what we're going to do. If you head east out of the village, you'll come to Cobblestone Falls, as you know. Go there and dig in front of the three-sided rock. Got that, hmm? The three-sided rock at Cobblestone Falls. You'll know the one I mean. 
Oh. Oh. oh, but what a fine figure of a man you've become. I'm so glad I got to see you all grown up. You'll be good now, lad. Don't waste your time bearing grudges. Live life with love in your heart. You always saw me, right? Bye now. So now it's time to go back to Cobblestone. Now, if uh, you may not have been able to tell what exactly just happened, but we're about to find out. And I went the wrong way because I'm stupid. for getting Gemma's headscarf back for her. Come back and play any time you like. <laughs> it's ages till I gotta go home. What should we play now? Well, we could play, um... Are you okay? I lost you for a minute there. Not surprising, I guess. <sighs> I can't believe they do this. And just because you grew up here? What kind of animals are they? Jasper and his goons must have ridden straight here after you got thrown in the dungeons and torched the place. Hey, just now, when you zoned out, the mark on your hand was glowing, and so was the root wrapped around that tree. Was it another one of those visions? Wow. So you... You went back in time and spoke with your granddad and... and yourself? That is seriously weird. Must have been the root here. It must have the power to show you the past. Well, if what your granddad told you was right, then we need to head over to Cobblestone Falls. Where did you say it was? East of the village? Listen, I know this can't be easy, but hanging around here isn't going to do anybody any good. Come on. This is a really sad moment. You know, I'm not even going to front. Because, like, you got to look at the place, you know? There, were, there was innocent people here. And this whole fucking village was redu uh, this whole fucking the whole fucking village of cobblestone was re was reduced to fucking rubble, no pun intended. Like this is like legit, just some grade A horseshit. And on top of that, there's no residents here. That's just a random priest that's, uh, that was passing through. 
There are no residents here whatsoever. Well, other than the little tackles, but they don't count. Can I still open the door? <laughs> That's so dumb. So yeah. This sucks. This sucks a lot. So as Eric said, you know, sitting around and moping isn't going to get anything done. So what we need to do is head out of here and head east. Oh, did it really just fucking turn nights? It did. Okay. But uh, we need to head out of here. Oh, cool. You can see Yggdrasil from here? Wow, I never noticed that. Whoops. Look at that. That's pretty. It's a static, it, it, it's, it's all one static image. But it's still pretty though. That's really pretty. But yeah, that's Yggdrasil in the background. I never noticed that before. Such a such a nice keen attention to detail. All right, so now we know that uh, cobblestone is, got fucked by Jasper, which was uh, the king of Heliodor's right hand man. So now our next objective is to uh, go out and find. Whatever this three-sided rock by the uh, cobblestone falls. Now, before I do that, I'm gonna look around here for a minute because metal slimes can spawn in here. I've I've seen them spawn once, and I want to see if I can get them to spawn again. I, I got him to spawn once. Although when I tried to fight it, it ran away. And I would I would love to fight a fucking metal slime right about now. That would be absolutely amazing if that could happen. And from the looks of it, it's not going to. So looks like I don't have a choice but to move on. Oh, well, there's a three-point of rock. Found it. Cool. Letters, huh? The top one there seen better days, that's for sure. My dearest, darling baby boy, when finally you come to read this, I will almost certainly be long dead. You see, not long after you were born, our beloved kingdom of Dundrazil was attacked by an army of monsters. I was forced to flee with you in my arms and expended the last of my strength in ensuring that you escaped to safety. If you are fortunate enough to have been found by some kindly soul, you must seek out the King of Heliodor when you come of age. Our kingdom and his have long enjoyed close relations, and your father and I would trust him with our lives. Never forget, my son. You are a prince of the Kingdom of Dundrazil. But more than that, you are the luminary. Yours is a weighty burden indeed. It is you who must stand against the darkness and banish it from our world. In time, you will come to understand. 
It breaks my heart to leave you, my darling. But it is the only way. I only hope that one day you will learn to forgive me. It's from someone important to you, right? Your mother or something? Don't worry, you can tell me about it later. What about the other one? To my dearest grandson. I haven't the foggiest how you managed it, but I met your future self today. As promised, I've buried some things here that will help you on your way. Have you read your mother's letter yet? It was in your basket with you when I first found you. It was because of that letter that I asked my Amber to send you to see the King when the time came. I only wish I'd known how things would turn out. I don't know why Dundrasil was attacked, or why King Carnelian thinks so badly of you. I'm just an ignorant old man from a little village in the country. But I do know that the answers are out there somewhere. The keystone in this box will open the door of departure off to the east. You must go out into the world and seek the truth. Remember now, don't waste your time bearing grudges and live life with love in your heart. All the best, now and forever. Grandad. Uh. So we use the keystone to open the door of departure and head out into the world, huh? Well, sounds easy enough. You better believe I'm coming with you. You said it was just east of here, right? Well, what are we waiting for? Oh, I know what we're waiting for. I've got some unfinished business to attend to. The orb. The King's Barrow's not too far from here. Just down the way, in fact. Let's go claim what's rightfully mine. What's cool about this is that uh, if you pick up a uh, hero's stuff after getting uh, uh, after getting the orb back, then Eric won't uh, wouldn't have said what he said. Am I stuck? Okay, so it's cool that uh, the developers actually thought. Of, you know, people just, you know, skipping right to it. And they also accounted for people who wanted to do things in, like, a linear fashion. Stop running into a fucking tree, hero. However, I am upset because now I can't go to the actual door to departure. Uh, because behind the door of, uh, behind the door of departure is an item that I wanted to grab before uh, before actually progressing the story. But now that I've progressed the story to this certain, pe uh, certain bait here, now I can't actually fucking uh, progress any farther because Eric will just prevent me from even going near the door of departure. Which sucks. So, I'm a bit upset. <laughs> because, and, or, and what's worse is that I have no one to blame but myself. Because my dumbass knew better. Oh, no, I said I have no one to blame but myself. Oh. 
Where are you going? Okay. Well, fuck. Looks like I'm not allowed to get that item then. I guess I'll just have to come and get it next time around. Which will be for which will be a while because I don't get a ship until way later. It's after I get Silvando, and even when I get Silvando, I have to wait even later. Fuck me, I guess. All right. Here comes the next bit of grind. I gotta stay here for like two or three levels and that's gonna be for a while can I kill calamari kids I hope so yes doodle don't fight back yes merrily mess around thank you yes 34 experience points? Damn. Okay. No fuck up. Let's do this. There's three of them. Whoa, that's big damage. Nice. Nice. Damn. Okay, chill out now. Y'all getting a little too big for your britches. That's good experience. Look at that. Thank you, game. Okay. <laughs> okay. I see you, little bitch. Bam! Oh fuck, there's one of these bitches. I'm gonna have Eric focus, focus the crab in. What the? One damage! One damage! My fucking dick! Well, fuck. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, uh, fuck it. I guess. I guess we're ending off on a fucking loss. I'm ta I, I, I'm just. I'm just taking an L. Fuck me. <laughs> Alright, but, uh, with all that being said, huh, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching, uh, even though not a single person came out, unfortunately. Uh, either way, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you're watching this over on YouTube, again, thanks for watching. Consider subscribing and fuck it. Press the dislike button. I, I took an L for the end of stream. Like, ugh. that's a terrible way to go out. Ugh. Huh. If you want to, if you want to follow the Discord, the link is in my bio. Uh. If you're in the Discord, you're always up to date. You'll always know when something's happening and or whenever I go live. It's the best way to keep in contact. And it's the easiest way to get a hold of me if you want to talk to me about anything. Uh, and uh, as I said at the beginning of stream, I now have a brand new stream schedule. Uh, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursdays, and sun uh, Saturdays. 
are going to be for these types of streams. Uh, like the stream that we had today. It's going to be purely focused on the playthrough of whatever game that I'm playing at the time, which right now is Dragon Quest XI S. Uh, and I plan on doing this more often. Uh... Uh, the only reason I'm doing these kinds of playthroughs, uh, two hours, is because I'm doing them four days a week. So, that's eight hours of gameplay. Versus, and then go to the three days a week, where I'm playing multiplayer games like Smash or whatever... And I'm doing those streams three hours, so that's nine hours. So I'll be sh I'll be streaming for a total of uh, I'll be streaming for a total of fifteen hours, no, seventeen hours a week. But on top of that, uh, the extra hour on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays will just give more time for me to hang out with you guys. And that's what I want. And for these kinds of streams, you know, I'm not really hanging out. I'm just kind of sitting down and playing through a game. So, you know, it, it, it works. It works. <sighs> but yeah, I am getting tired. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.